Hey Pony Pals, it's Emma from Paint Fun Studios, and today I'm here with Anna, Woo! and we're going to be playing Disney Princess's Royal Horse Show, um, which is an ancient PC game back, for, back from when we were like probably six years old, so I want to say it's about a 12-year-old game. And we're at the uh, save game menu right now, ready to start a new game, and Anna's going to be playing. So, we're gonna pick the light blue ribbon. Cause Paint Pony Studios. And here's the lovely intro. I'm so sorry for the janky graphics, but hey, here we go. <laughs> now, we tested this game. Um, I had Anna test this game to get a bit of a grip on the controls and whatnot, but I wanted to let Cinderella finish her, her statements. Um, we wanted to start a new game from the beginning so that we could show you guys kind of what this game is, because it's really cute. Um, but let's start out with decorating the fairgrounds, which is something we can actually do in this game. Why, hello there. Oh, this is the decorating shop. It's where you may choose some of the decorations for the Royal Fairground. Want to decorate? <laughs> Why, it's easy! Just use the filter to pick any of the decorating items you see. Or you can choose different flags, bows, banners, drapes, or flowers. And you may even change the music. Once you've made your choice, look outside the balcony window to see how the new decorations look at all the other buildings. And you may change things as often as you like. Aren't all the decorations pretty? Oh, they really now are remember, snow white. If you'd like my help, <laughs> just choose my picture below. So I also just want to let you guys know that because we started a new, a new game, um, we can't skip any of these uh, little Not tutorial things. Uh, but let's see. Let's. I like the blue. The blue. Okay. So let's do the banner to match. I like, yeah, the, the blue on the bottom. Yeah, that one. And um, flowers. We can go. I like these ones. The cherry blossoms. Yeah. What about the bows? Do you like those bows? It's that one. Well, this one looks like the cherry blossoms. Oh, yeah, that's pretty. Keep it concise. And now the music. I'm not sure if you guys will be able to pick up on the music. We can just leave the music as is. Change it. Oh, you want to change it? So this one's more of birds chirping. This one sounds like <laughs> frolicking through the woods. This is not what it makes me think of. We're gonna go with the green. Yeah. Because I chose the green in the game I was starting earlier. So it's really I think that's all of it. Quiet. Are you sure you go? Yeah, I think for sure. So now we'll go now check we can out skip the horses. Things. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Aurora is going to give us a large Hello. spiel. I'm Princess Aurora, and I'm so glad you're here with me at the Royal Stables. Why, it's one of my very favorite places. We're going to have a wonderful time together. I just love visiting all the horses here, and I'm sure you will too. You may choose any horse you'd like to decorate. Just use your sparkling scepter to pick one of the horses. Okay, so when I would play this game as a kid, I would always pick Starwish first, who's the one on the far left. Um, but then I also really like Miss Mist. However, the other horses, the other horses that I like, 
that I would use the most often aren't in the game yet. We have to earn them, which we'll, we we can do in this That's video. That's what we're gonna do right now. So we're gonna go with this one because it looks like Paloma. Yeah, they actually know their horse colors. Yeah. So this is Amber Glow, Palomino. Here in the stables, there are so many wonderful decorations to choose from. Why just touch your scepter anywhere on the horse and look for the magical glow. The glow tells you that you can press on that spot and all of the decorations will appear. And if you change your mind, you can change the decorations anytime you like. All right, here we go. All right, so we had some ones that we tested out before, so let's try some different ones. So you okay. never did this one. No, I, did, I did do that one with the hearts. Yes. Okay. I did it on the very last horse okay. I earned. I didn't do the blue though. All right, let's do the blue. We've been going blue throughout. Why not? Yeah. I always going. used to do the blue on Star Wish. Because the then she looked the like because then she then I would use the plume and she looked like Cinderella's carriage horse. Oh. Yeah. How wonderful. This poor horse. <laughs> and this oh, side. So yep. Horse. It's funny how large the saddles are. Like. They remind me of the carousel. Barbie. Like, yeah, Barbie or even carousel horse saddles. And then she gets the little anklets. So, so uh, like with another game that we played recently that I mentioned I'd like to see uh, a newer version of I'd love to see an updated version of this. Yeah. With some of our newer princesses. Yes. Such as Elsa. I'd love to see Rapunzel. Oh, yeah. And, um, definitely, definitely like, um, Merida and mm -hmm. maybe Moana or Tiana. Even Belle. I mean, they don't have Belle in here. Right. So I think we gotta do one more horse and then we what? get a surprise. Let's go with the Star Wish. Yeah. Star Wish. I chose Star Wish first when I was playing too. Her name is Star Wish. The only thing that sort of bothers me about this game is that the rigging on the princesses- Oh, you can skip her now. <laughs> the rigging on the princesses is really good, but the horses kind of look a little weird. Um, do the- do this one and we can see what the heart tack looks like. Because you use the mane and stuff, but- I didn't use the actual saddle. Yeah. I thought it was too much. There you do the blanket. Sorry if we're going a little fast, but we we know what these look like. So. Right. And we're going to have a lot of opportunities to use different ones, so. For her feet. Yep, little heart things on her feet. And then I oh, forget. Her hat. I think her hat is actually supposed to be the plume. Yep. <laughs> Like oh, it's perfect for a princess like you, Anna. Oh, I actually was looking into auditioning for a Disney princess role. Oh, yeah? And then I found out that I have to pay money. Aw. Oh. Oh, see, guys, now we got a new horse. This one's my fave. Yep, this is my favorite one. Out of the entire herd. Let's decorate her. Yeah, so if we decorate two more, we get another horse. So we're gonna do midnight. We're gonna do midnight, and then we should do uh, Miss Mist. Look at that eyeball. Yeah, they're very human like. Yeah, okay, so I think we get a new tack set with her. Which means we get the, the, green, the green, which is my favorite also. Yes. What lovely choices. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, how pretty. This is just us playing dress up dress up the horse. <laughs> Alright, challenge to any of our uh any of our children. I don't, well I don't want to say our children. We're we're too young to have kids. We don't have children, but any of our uh four each children, if you are watching this, I wanna see some tax sets like this. Oh I wanna see some Disney Princess performance scenes. Please oh, thank you. Dude, drag a horseshoe over to the wall so we can save this for later. A there. I totally forgot we could do that. Okay. Okay, so now we're gonna we do need one, one more. more horse. And then we get another horse, which is another of my favorite horses. Miss Miss. Miss Miss. Yay. She's a cutie. 
They're all cuties, honestly. Minus the eyes. Now, I liked the purple set yeah. on, on Miss Miss, so let's do that one. Thanks, Raven. Oh, really? And we have to put the headpiece on there. Yeah. Go big or go home. <laughs> I love how frilly it is. This one, right? Yeah. yeah. Yep, and the little booties. Hooray. So she is all set, and we're gonna save this. Alrighty. Now, when we go out, we should have a new horse. Yeah. I can't really know this one. I think it's Tapestry. Yes, Tapestry. Because it's a pinto! Her name is Tapestry. <laughs> That reminds me of that Spongebob line. Her name, Her name was Mystery. mystery. <laughs> She's called a paint and yeah. Sure but let's let's go let's go jump so that we can end this episode on on you riding. So you're actually you're gonna be riding Miss Mist. Okay, oh, this will be so exciting. So again we're gonna have to sit through Snow White. So there are two other courses, as you guys can see, but I don't know how much I'll um, be willing to play this one. Yeah, if we do, um, <laughs> if it gets good review, if you right. guys want to see more. Right, if you guys want to see more, we will have to, um, we're going to have to grind, because you have to complete each course five times before you move on to the next one. Um, so like this beginner one that we're doing, you're going to have to move on, or you're, you're going to have to do it five times before you actually get to the emerald course, and then another five times to get to the diamond course. So chances are, if we do another video of this, it might be more decorating horses and then, uh, trying to do the diamond course because it has really tall fences, and it's really weird to do. So we might, if you guys really want to see it. We're gonna write them a letter. <laughs> we're gonna excuse me, Disney Interactive. We're gonna request they, uh, we make this game. All right, click your scepter anywhere on the course. I love that it's a scepter. Now That's here really we true. go. Bear with us. <laughs> it's so bizarre. <laughs> they tried to make it like realistic, and I'll give them perks for that. But yeah. Hooray! I, this part I liked when you, when she turns and you can actually see her head. Oh, almost oh. refused. Look at you go! Oh, <laughs> that was real close, Anna. Oh my goodness. Oh, she's got blue eyes. I did not see that. I don't think. Okay. Yay! Look at we're done with the course, Anna! Ooh, so proud of you! I'll admit, I was, I was worried I wasn't gonna make it. Yeah? <laughs> oh, she looks so good, actually. So majestic. That's really cute. So we got a gold ribbon for that. And as you can see, all the cherry blossoms and stuff are lining that lovely uh, little wire horseshoe. Oh yeah, let's do that. Your horse looks so cute in the decorations you chose for her. 
She does. Like, okay. so cute. Okay, so before we end the video, let's go to the craft cottage. So just click the scepter. Anna. <laughs> when we tested this, she kept mousing over the ribbons every time to make Snow White say, Ribbons! It's so funny. It's so funny to me. I like stupid hair. Alright, so let's go to the craft cottage and I can show you what the scrapbook looks like. Because you used to be able to print these off. Oh yeah, and it's Belle. Oh, Belle is in here. Welcome to the craft cottage. I'm so happy that you came to visit here with me. This is my very favorite place at the Royal Fairgrounds. Do you know why? It's because there are so many exciting things to see and do here. Why, you can look through your scrapbook, measure yourself with a growth chart, see your writing certificate levels, and collect horse cards to trade. I hope you have as much fun here as I do. Okay, so from what I remember, the chart on the wall it was was a printable, and it's so it's measuring you in hands, like like you know you measure a horse in hands. Oh. Yeah. So as a kid, I never actually got to do that, but it was really cool to like you know if I wanted to, I could have printed out a growth chart for myself. What's wrong with the scrapbook? Yeah. So you get to pick you get to pick um what border, and then you can actually like write in there. Oh, well, that's really cute. Yeah, and then you can print it out if you want. Oh, I love it. Yeah. So you get one for every ribbon you, you know, every ribbon you, uh, you achieve. And then the trading cards are different breeds. Oh, it even marks where they're from. Yeah. Oh. So on each of the cards... Interesting oh, that's real neat. Yeah. When you look at the cards, I can read you the facts from my new book. And there's so many yet to be found. Yeah, so basically, click on those again. Um, it shows you if the horse is a draft, um, a draft, a pony, or just like a normal light, light horse. It shows you what colors they come in. And then where in the world they come from, which is actually really cool. And then you can you can print these sheets out too. Um, so it almost would be really fun to um, complete all of these and then go go to like Office Max and get these printed on cardstock. Yeah. For our kids, for our four H, our four H kids. <laughs> if you ever hear us refer to our kids, we're talking about our four H kids. Yeah. So go back to the craft cottage, and then the the frames up there. Are for your riding certificates. So, like when you complete the ruby, emerald, and diamond courses. Oh, okay. Yeah. And so then you get a certificate. Yeah. Alright, let's go back to the gazebo. <clears throat> and we can, we can end this video here. Aw. All right, Pony Pals, if you want to see more Disney Princess Royal Horse Show, uh, feel free to leave a comment below and tell us what you want to see. So for right now, it looks like this might be a one-off, but don't worry, we have a bunch more horse games coming and actually some more episodic games coming, um, like the Starshine series, uh, Barbie Horse Adventures, that one's on our list, and just a couple more that uh, you guys might want to see, including maybe Star Stable even or Horse Isle. We might have a couple guests with us on the horse style video as well. So until then, we will see you in the next video, Pony Pals. Bye! Bye.